Every spring, I love to come and explore the Southern Gulf Islands. They're only a short ferry ride from Victoria, but coming out to the islands kind of feels like stepping into another world. It ha they have a very rural feel to them, a big sense of community, and the pace is just nice and relaxed and slow. Are you ready to go exploring today? First, I have to finish my cup of coffee though. The Southern Gulf Islands are located between Vancouver Island and the mainland coast of BC. They consist of hundreds of small islets and islands, with ferry service to five of the most populated islands, including Pender. Many of the islands contain portions of the Gulf Islands National Park Reserve that was established in 2003 to protect ecologically important regions. Kayaking is one of the best ways to explore the abundance of marine life found living along the island's coastlines. This is just one of the little beautiful beaches that you come across when you're exploring Bedwell Harbour. Well, it's adventure time again, and this time I am on Salt Spring Island, which is the largest of the Southern Gulf Islands. So that means there's plenty of things to do. The island has the tallest mountain in the region, uh, dozens of hiking trails, little art galleries to explore, a couple vineyards, and I find the countryside is just really charming because it's dotted with these little hobby farms. And of course, there's plenty of deer. One of my favorite places to visit on Salt Spring Island is Ruckel Provincial Park. Not only does it have a beautiful campground right along the ocean, it also has BC's oldest continually operating farm. The Ruckel family began farming here in the 1870s and still have turkeys, sheep and cows strolling around the property. So this is one of the little farm stands that are pretty popular on the Gulf Islands. This one's pretty elaborate though. You got your coffee, cookies, jams, and they got to be pretty trusting because it's, you pay, it's self-pay. So a visit to Salt Spring Island would not be complete without checking out the Saturday Farmer's Market. It's a busy place and a great opportunity to uh, meet and interact with some of the friendly and colorful locals and you never know what kind of weird stuff you might find to buy.
with my lovely mom and dad who've, who've joined me for an adventure. Say hello! Hi. Hello! Sandstone beaches, arbutus trees, and Gary Oak ecosystems are common in the Gulf Islands. And each island has something unique to explore, along with a lengthy history that's packed with fascinating stories. A trip to the Gulf Islands for a day or overnight getaway always leaves me feeling relaxed and rejuvenated. The toughest decision is, where do I go next? <laughs>